Uh, well, this chapter is about the ratio. This is considered as a, a very important chapter for bank examination. This will be used in DI. This this uh, DI is data interpretations questions will come from this chapter which will use this concepts of ratio. DI is a very huge chapter that's why uh, as it is using the chapter of ratio this chapter becomes very important and there are certain logics in this chapter which will be very useful for solving this kind of questions uh, which will be used in DI. Well now let's start. I will tell you the most basic concept of ratio which is literally called K concept. But to understand this let's have an idea about what this concept is about. For example, if I say that there are two, two friends A, B and the amount of money they have is in the ratio 3 is to 5. So here my first question to you is, uh, I'm going to ask you like uh, how much money does A have? So to answer this question, we will uh, get into the concepts into uh, in, in detail. Then we will try to understand. It can be three rupees and B can have five rupees. That's okay. The given information is the ratio of money A and B. Uh, what they are having is three to five. So it can be rupees. It can be rupees three or five. For example, let's draw this diagram. A and this is B. A can have 3 rupees and B can have 5 rupees. That's fine. Exactly 3 rupees, 5 rupees. Or it can have 6, 10. Or it can have 9, 15. Or it can have 30, 50. Or it can have 300, 500. Or it can have 3000, 5000. Or it can even have 3 crores and 5 crores. So the logic behind is in all the cases, if you look into all the cases, here the ratio of A and B is 3 is to 5. In every case, it's 3 is to 5 here, 300, 500 ratio is 3 is to 5. 3000, 5000 the ratio is 3 is to 5. 3 crore, 5 crore the ratio is also 5. The point is here every set of options that I am writing here is a multiple of 3 in case of A and a multiple of 5 in case of B. So in other words I can tell you that if this information, this information A to B is given I can write in other way that A has 3k rupees and B has 5k rupees. K is a constant multi multiple which has to be uh, multiplied with these ratio numbers. So let's simplify the logic that we understood now. The logic behind this is if any ratio is given, for example, let's say that A, B and C, there are three friends, the amount of money they have is in the ratio of 4 is to 7 is to 11 in that case the first step that should be taken which says that the amount of money A has is 4k B has 7k and C has 11k this is the amount of money real money they have is 4k 7k and 11k but the ratio is 4 is to 7 is to 11. So this is K concept. K concept says that if ratio is given, if any ratio is given, just multiply a common constant which is K with every ratio numbers and it will give you the real value. Another example, for example, let's say there are two sellers C and D. The amount of oranges, the amount of oranges, oranges which they have is 3 is to 5. So how many oranges does C have? You cannot say that C has 3 oranges. You cannot say that D has 5 oranges. You should say that C has 3k oranges whereas D has 5k oranges. So this is all about K concept and we will dig into more concepts in the next videos.